I'm Steph Strickland with GeekWire Studios here at the Tableau Conference. We are going to talk to you now about all things AI, data, and trust, a very big, heady topic and very important. I'm joined now by Stuart Bond. He is the Vice President of IDC's Data Intelligence and Integration Software Service. And as someone who's an engineering leader in the space, I would like to talk to you about what you think data and trust means to you. Data and trust to me means that we need to know about our data. We've got data all over the place. We talk in the modern data environment, we talk about data being highly distributed, diverse, so many different kinds of data that we're dealing with, and very dynamic. It's always moving and it's always changing. And in order to really trust that data, you need the intelligence about that data. So you can make sure you know where the data is, what it means, how to use it, what the context is in, where did it come from, where is it going, and that to me is the intelligence about the data and that's what you need to make sure you're using the right data at the right time and for the right reason and with all, within all the guardrails of all the compliance rules that we have to, to face in modern day business. AI is really accelerating what organizations are doing with their data. So with that, I'm wondering, how many organizations do you see sort of leveraging or starting to even just dabble in generative AI? Gen AI is the big topic. Yeah, it is the big topic. And we've been doing surveys every month since the middle of March 2020. And initially they were focused on what's happening in the pandemic, how is that impacting IT spending. And now a lot of our surveys are focusing in on Gen AI. <laughs> and what is Gen AI doing? Interestingly, 35%, according to the survey we did at the beginning of this year, 35% of organizations believe that their business, what they're doing is already being disrupted by Gen AI, or will be disrupted by Gen AI within the next few months. That's crazy. And then when we look, so what are you doing? We ask them, what are you doing for Gen AI? But 40% are investing heavily in creating use cases, creating solutions in their organization. But another 40% are running some POCs, trying a few different things. And the other 20%, they're making plans. So realistically, every organization is doing something with Gen AI. Help me understand from your perspective what comes first, data governance, then adoption of Gen AI. People are very excited, don't want to be left behind the curve. What is your uh, take on that? They need to be iterative efforts. They need to go together. I, I think if you try to put your whole um, house in order, it's like it's like cleaning your house, right? If you if you just clean your house when guests are coming over, and only do that once a year, it's going to be a disastrous effort, right? Like you'll get it done eventually, but um, if you only do it that one time and treat it as kind of a project-based effort, uh, it's really going to be unsustainable. So you need to start with kind of a, a small achievable use case and build momentum from there. So whether that be you know, a customer facing use case, if that's what generates most revenue for your organization, or if maybe if it's a more internal use case, like a research based use case, do what makes the most impact for your organization and focus on a data governance effort that's going to fit into that use case. I think that's what's most effective for most organizations. Yeah, the biggest challenge that organizations are facing, the biggest thing that, that they worry about the most is the quality of the data and potential sensitivities of data getting out because they're, they're taking their internal data and they're sharing it with these external models and they're worried about personal sensitive information they're worried about corporate ip information being leaked getting out there into these models and being shared with people that they never intended to share it with in the first place. So that's that's one of the biggest challenges that they're facing. Do you believe that organizations are ready to trust the outcomes of Gen AI when it comes to workflow? I think it depends on the maturity of the organization. There is a maturity curve, right? So different organizations will fall along the maturity curve kind of in different ways. And as you're adopting AI as an organization, it's really important to understand where you fit there. There needs to be that sort of self-introspection as an organization. So while we're all very eager to jump into that technology and, and just get going, it, there's sort of that FOMO, that fear of missing out, right? No one wants to be left behind in AI. There is a uh, merit in kind of pausing for a moment and thinking, where do we sit on that maturity curve? Where are we in terms of data governance, in terms of data management, in terms of data literacy, in terms of um, the skills and the awareness of our people? Do sort of a triage and an assessment before you kind of jump in. What does built on trust mean to you? So to me, there are really two parts to this. One is security, compliance, and privacy, right? That's the data part. 
The second part, which people are not paying much attention to at this point, is actual reliability on the data, the toxicity and bias, right? Like, can I rely on this data? In the consumer world where ChatGPT is taking over, it's okay, right? Because it's not like, you know, it's not helping us make critical decisions, right? But in the enterprise world, especially for Tableau, like people, like enterprises makes decision based on our data. So for me, like, one is security where I'm protecting the data that I'm passing, right? Like start with the zero data, minimum data. The second one is the reliability of the data, the, the actual data that I'm producing, the actual answers that I'm producing in Gen AI. Can my customers rely on it? And I want to make sure they absolutely can rely on it. So those are the two big things for me. You know, every organization is doing something with Gen AI. A lot of the solutions that they're focusing on are really, a lot of them are still they're not full production yet, and there's still a lot of testing and tweaking, and, and we've seen examples in the, in the industry of where it's gone bad. We, we've seen problems with chatbots giving people discounts on airlines, and the airline getting sued over it, and the airline trying to blame the chatbot. Well, they created the chatbot. <laughs> so there's so much going on. There's so much still that needs to be figured out in terms of regulations and, and policies and there's just there's a lot going on before people can really get to the point where they're going to trust it and and we know from our surveys actually that about a third of organizations actually know whether or not and how they're sharing if they're sharing sensitive information with external models they they they, they think they're ready they understand but that's only a third right that there's still two-thirds of organizations that that don't so there's a lot of work to do here. I'm Steph Strickland with GeekWire Studios.